Let it all go, let it all go No submission, this is too far all Greatness or death, this is how we roll Before I'm late to rest, I'll conquer the globe Yo, 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 Michael here, 250 Gemstones Exchange This is where I give you guys great content And in exchange, you guys leave a like, comment, or subscribe Hopefully, all three of the above Don't be afraid to share my videos Pass me around, pass me around and y'all know how I feel about my ching. If you'd like to support the channel, my cash app is dollar sign Mike US. Cash app dollar sign Mike US. Also check out the website 250gemstones.com.co. And it's tired of y'all sneaking on my channel now staying for the whole video. I caught you. I caught you over here trying to take a peek and run off. Nah, nah, nah. Come right here. Sit right beside me because we need to talk. We need to talk. Before I play this video, I want y'all to take this as a life lesson. Take this as a life lesson. Don't be judging the book by its cover. Now, when they say don't judge a book by its cover, you also got to take something for face value. You understand what I'm saying? You know, if it look like a duck, quack like a duck, it's a goddamn duck. You know, so it's all about having some perspectives on how you greet and meet people and trying to gauge them see if they need to be in a psych ward or see if they you know capable of functioning within society because people are chameleons people are real live chameleons they don't change colors like chameleons but instead of changing colors they change their emotions they change their motives that's why so many people get knocked off. It'd be the people that be close to you. They do you in. Do you dirty. Leave you in the gutter. Leave you heartbroken. Leave you all discombobulated. Distraught. Dismantled. But I'm an excellent judge of character. I'm an excellent judge of character. I, I like to peep. I like to study. I like to get up all in the mofo grill. Before you come around me with the foolishness, with the backstabbing. So I'm about to play the video. So y'all let me know. Do y'all take things for face value? The look like a duck, quack like a duck? Or do y'all refuse to judge a book by a cover and get to know the person first before you make your final assessment? I'm gone. You should buy two seats instead of one so you don't have to inconvenience the person next to you. The flight attendants will not tolerate that. You make a scene, you are off. They will drag you off the plane. Ooh, she fine. She only so stays because you know what I said is true. No. It's not true. You don't know anything about me or what I go through. You don't even know what I went through before getting on this plane. What are you talking about? You seemed fine. I might have been Damn. smiling on the outside, but I have been dying on the inside. Now I feel bad. You see, I've been this size for as long as I can remember. That doesn't stop people from judging me. Everywhere I go, Damn. they stare and they make mean comments. Big as a That's man. why I avoid going to public places. While the staring and the comments hurt, the hardest thing of all is when people don't want to sit there. If the staring... Oh, she must be, my bad, I thought she was talking about online. She said, if the comments hurt, I thought she was talking about online, but she's talking about in real life. I'm like, well, if the comments hurt, stop posting pictures of your big ass on the internet. <laughs> Next to me, they treat me as if I have some infectious disease. That's really sad. And she seemed like such a nice person, too. Probably gives great hugs. That's why today, <laughs> as I got on this Ooh, flight... Oh, Lord. I prayed to have an empty seat next to me, just so I didn't have to go through the judgment. And the humiliation. But of course, mm. my worst fear came true. Sat next to the absolute worst passenger on the plane. So you see. So you see, you clearly have not watched a darn man video in your life. Have some respect. Never. You have no idea what I go through or how much I struggle. That's why I don't need your judgment to actually expect me to feel bad for you. Ooh. <laughs> I don't. The biggest struggle you have is probably getting your pants on in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> she said the biggest struggle you had was getting your big ass in there in your pants pulling your pants up below that uh, lower belly fat that's the biggest struggle damn this little bitch is ruthless 
Look how she looking at. Look at your big ass taking up this whole plane. This plane is huge. A Boeing 757. You took up half the plane. No, the plane is struggling. That's what she's saying. That's what this little girl is saying to this big ass woman. She said the plane is struggling. <laughs> Airlifting your big ass across the goddamn country. <laughs> The engines are struggling. <laughs> Flight. I don't care if you need your phone charger. I don't care if you need to use the restroom. I don't care if the plane is on fire. Just leave me alone. Girl, if you don't move, do what you gotta do. Smush her on the way out if you have to. You know, I am praying. <laughs> this is her getting dragged off the plane. Flight attendants, please return to your seat. Our last passenger is boarded. Hey guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hey, Jens, there you are. Well, I was gonna miss the flight. I, I did text you, though. Did you, did you get it? No, look, because my phone died. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, I think I'm sitting. Yeah, I'm sitting right there. Hey, empty seat. Want to join me? Oh my gosh, yes, please do that so I can finally breathe. Damn. That would be great. Oh, right. no. Right. See, 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 see that little heifer that got snatched up back in uh, Sacramento? Out here in Dallas, New Orleans. Oh, oh, New Orleans. They were a drug ass behind them project building somewhere. Anywhere in these major cities. Hell, in some of these rural cities in America. You talk like that in America? You're going to get dealt with. Make it. Come on. By the way, who did you say the interview was with? Oh, is it that guy? You're going to like this one. Mm -hmm. She had a great resume and she was highly recommended. I think she's going to be fine. What is her name? Uh, Rachel. It is, uh, oh. Rachel. Oh. Oh. <laughs> then you must be Rachel. She knew this whole time. This oh. is Mark Rober. The head of California retail at Ulta. I believe this is who you're interviewing with. Oh. You're Rachel Dobson. Yeah. Oh, what a coincidence. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Oh. Yeah. What a small world. <laughs> I was just telling. Why do white people make? <laughs> why do white people be doing that stupid shit? Like white people would not fess up for the wrong they have done to black people, for the wrong they have done to their own people, for the wrong they have done to the people in their personal lives. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> what? She ain't gonna say I'm sorry. I did not. Oh, I feel so embarrassed. I feel so small. She's like, well, it's a small world. <laughs> look, at look at this mess. Viewing with. You're Rachel Dobson. Yeah. Oh, what a coincidence. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. What a small world. <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling your assistant how excited I am for this opportunity. Assistant? Jen, she didn't tell him? Uh, she's the head of U.S. retail. Ooh. Oh, this is quite the plot twist. Oh. She's my boss. <gasps> Since this was a senior manager level interview, what she was uh, she was nice enough to join me. So, unlike what you said about me earlier, I actually do have a job and a pretty good one at that. Oh. So, no, I don't just sit around my couch all day. Eating potato chips and collecting welfare checks. Oh Damn. my gosh, she didn't think I was serious about <laughs> She said, I ain't no big ass slob collecting checks with my EBT code. She said, I ain't. <laughs> she said, I don't go to Walmart at the self checkout with two baskets, two baskets full of junk food, hostess, Debbie cakes, honey mud, honey bun, them big ass honey bun with the frost.